Why does he put it there? That's what you're going to ask yourself for sure. Hey, anyway, it's time to make uh, corned beef. And I'm going to Instapot two of them. Two of them at one time. Let you guys come in here because right now ain't nobody in here. You can feel the love. How are you? Hope you're doing well. So, Instapot it is. Two corned beefs. They're just, I'm sure they're weighed. Four and a half pounds and four and a half pounds, well, three and a half pounds, two and a half pounds and three and a half pounds. I was looking at the price per pound. I said, there's no way they weigh the same. So there's the two corners. So they're pretty, this one around. There we go. And that one. Anybody in there? One person in there. Hello to you. Two corned beefs, I'm going to cook at one time inside the Instant Pot. Okay, it's going to be cooked with beer. Give me a second just to wash my hand off. I'm not a huge fan of the three, <laughs> feels like 360, don't it? The, the 180 view, it's not quite that. Some of the cameras now, I know, I know some of them definitely have the the, uh, the wide angle thing going, even on the front lens. I don't know how all that looks, but that's probably crazy. But this is big enough. This is big enough for sure. Feel free to talk, guys. Say hi. Tell me where you're from. Not that it matters. It's just kind of cool. I'm in central New Jersey near the ocean. I'm retired from the... Navy slash Air Force after 32 years as a civilian employee and I cook as does my wife Tracy. She's working so my turn to cook. Tonight I'm making corned beef. I have two of them. Okay so three of you are caught up now. Okay that's the Instant Pot out. Love using the Instant Pot. I really do. It's uh, any, any steam cooker cheapest to the most expensive. Okay, we'll get the job done. Now, if you want to just steam something, this is something you don't hear about a lot. When people talk about, you know, they talk about a steam, a high-pressure cooker. They don't realize it's a true steamer, too. And that is, I'll show you in a bit here, but when the lid's on, you have water in there and whatever's dumplings, whatever you might have in there that you're steaming. Okay, all you have to do is push the button in here, the, the button that releases the safety valve. Okay, and the steam comes out around the safety valve. See right there. Okay, there we go. So that's the, 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 the button right there. Safety's now set back where it is. It's about a two ounce weight. Push this in, opens that up, allows the steam to escape, but it pressurizes some. You know, it steams inside of the uh, pressure cooker itself. A whole new feature a lot of you have never used. I'm telling you right now. So. We got that going for us. I got my tripod ready in case we decide to do some tripod stuff here, which is cool. By the way, John cooks. I cook here quite a bit. I mean, this is the only place here at Haps. I got to mention Haps we're supposed to. And uh, Haps is this cool place, though. It's getting better and better every single day. Um, I like the Haps TV app. Uh, just, you know, or, well, I my TV is, is the Internet. You know, like my computer goes right to my TV set. We both have mice and we both have keyboards and life's a beautiful thing. So we share the TV set. So anyway, looking at HAPS uh, on the TV set uh, by going to haps.tv.com, uh, uh, I think. I'm assume, something like that. But uh, go in there and watch in the way your the production is. Your videos, I'll try to do it this way so it kind of makes sense for you. Your videos over here. Then you have this beautiful organized text over on this side. It, it it's not there yet with the uh, with the phone devices. You can only put so much stuff in there. It's pretty obvious, but it's everything's coming along. Now I'm here now. Something I'm really excited about. I just did a video. I'm going to put it up. John Cooks, look that up in Facebook, and you'll see that I got thousands of food photographs I've taken that we've had for dinners over the years. Uh, hundreds and hundreds of videos, uh, several from here, and uh, but lots and lots from, uh, from Periscope or 
the two of us cooked for nearly five years. Got to be nearly five years, something like that. So up to 12 people who have come in here. I ask one simple thing. If you come in here, and I do a lot of talking. He never cooks. Run. <laughs> I cook eventually. But I'm going to cook soon here because I want to, yeah, we're, I don't want to eat 7 o'clock tonight. So uh, anyway, if you watch me 10 minutes, uh, and I think, oh, I think I'm a good cook, I uh, get enough compliments, and I never... Uh, never had too many complaints, and if I do, I fix them next time that I make that particular meal. So I'm a, I'm probably my own biggest critic for sure. Um, but my wife loves my cooking; that's a great thing. And go look at the Periscope stuff while you can. Ah, or it's at Twitter. I think it's John Cook Scopes. It's actually the name, which makes no sense now. Uh, but John Cook Scopes is the Twitter name. Somebody might want to check that out. I don't know. That's where a lot of stuff is going to go. But here's the pressure cooker, six-quart pressure cooker. Okay, I'm going to get started here. So you didn't miss anything up until now. We're seven minutes in. Ah, you didn't miss a thing. Okay, the sink is clean, minus one cup over there. There's some clutter. Forgive me, Tracy. Yeah, I hate when you do stuff in the kitchen. I despise you. He's just in his little goblin about this big. You cook, didn't you cook in the kitchen? Oh, so I got the six cook. It's plugged in. It's ready to go. I hit the start button. It lights up. You know, uh, you've seen these things before. If not, look at it on, on YouTube. Seriously. Uh, it's just the best way to do it. Uh, it's an instant pot. It is the, uh, what version is it? The Ultra. It's okay. I could just as easily operate the one that was 69 bucks, not the one that's 139 or something like that. Now they get this big thing, and Ninja has a ridiculous one that's an air fryer slash uh, pressure cooker. Only problem is the lid doesn't detach. It's on a hinge. And unless you've got the right cabinet in the right direction, you can't open that thing up. You just can't. You can't open it up. So it's a, it's a stupid combination. Yeah, air fryer on top of a pot. So let me get started here. Okay. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the sink. I do like to wash these off. Into this. That isn't blood. This is a gel that they put in there. It gels to protect the meat. It is. This is. I've seen this on... Uh, on slaughter slaughterhouse kind of shows before that they they do package such things so but I don't like I still don't use that as a as a base for 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 the uh, doing the instant pot job here so let me take this and just wash these both off just take me a second you probably got my back to me over there I'm up over here somewhere uh, don't have to move too far. Let's try that just for the just for the heck of it. Let's see what we do here. What I am going to do is get this. I'm going to get a bowl. I'm just going to get a platter, which is much bigger. Probably wanted to get a platter. I know I mumble a lot. I I listen to my own videos, and I find out that I mumble, and I'm like, well, that's good. That's what I needed. By the way, don't wash this off in hot water. You're using your hot water heater water. Maybe you can wash off. Use cold water. That one is a really big one. I don't know. I mean, I can, easily I can do both. Easily, I can get the big way. Here's, here's one. It's sizable. I understand this shrinks down to a sandwich. I totally get that. Uh, and I, what I like to do is I like to cook them in there for about 40 minutes. Uh, say 30 in, in this case. I cut two of them in half. Stack them in. They stack in beautiful. Do them each for uh, a half an hour. Then rotate them around. So there's a 10-minute lag in the middle. Brings it up to about an hour and 10 or something that. Uh, and then 
wrap that up tight. Okay, get it out. You, you can't leave it in the steamer because it's going to be used in the steamer. I'm going to get rid of the juice out of there. I used to really like it. It's kind of high in sodium because I use a, a lot of a lot of seasoning in here. But uh, I was in 22 people have been in. 22 people. Thank you. I'm still seeing just have some message. Not one person. Not one person has typed anything for me. Ah, oh, no. Stop already. Okay, so there's one corned beef. Let me cut the other. Now one's going to be a holiday meal thing. But two of them is going to give up quite a bit of fat for corned beef hash. Okay, that's a, that's a biggie for me. So we don't waste. Okay. Another nice looking one. And they're both going to fit in there. I dropped my packets of uh, seasoning and I need what I can get because I use a lot, I mean, and I mean a lot, of pickling spice. Tons of pickling spice coming up and coming up. Tons of pickling spice. That's I mean, it's a third of a jar that's in there, and that's really a little low in, on my on my list of uh, pickling spice. I tend to go a half a jar. That's a lot of meat. That's that's the first thing. Let me get you down here. You just you just looking silly way, way up there. You look really really silly to me. There we go. Still can't. Remember. Howdy! I get a howdy from Brenda. Brenda, hi Brenda. Thank you for coming in. First person to type something, it's, if I had a bell, I'd ring it. I, I don't know why, but, okay, so I got the Instant Pot out. I'm doing two pretty sizable corned beef. So that's got to be eight, I think I read it, eight and a half pounds, something like that. There's two of them there, two huge corned beefs, okay. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to prep this up first. I'm going to start to get it hot in just a minute, but I'm going to go ahead and get a beer here. I start right from the very beginning. Oh, I hate to use my porter. Look at this. Oh, my yingling porter. This stuff is great. This is a good beer right here. Uh, I like this one a lot. So anyway, goodbye. Yeah, you know what? I'll pour it over the corned beef. It's more dramatic that way. Kind of wave and goodbye. Goodbye to launching it. Okay, so I got these two measly little packets. I'm going to throw them in there. Oh, I, I can almost guarantee there's a brand new bottle of uh, pickling spice nearby. Gar I guarantee it. So I'm cutting off the ends of the bags, and hopefully these will just pour out. Okay. I have no, no heat in here yet. Okay. This one I didn't cut big enough. Let me just cut that more. If it seems a little dark in here, <laughs> which I think it's pretty much going to seem dark in here if I don't turn on another light bulb. I'm trying to stop making me look so much like Homer Simpson, but it's not working. The uh, I just I just need better lights. Is what I need. And hello from Sacramento, Debbie Deb. Hi, Debbie Deb. Good to see you, friend. Thank you for coming in. Oh, always good to see folks joining in. That's a beautiful thing to see. I don't think I'll use a gigantic uh, cutting board here just to do one onion up. Listen, I, I used to take and put three sizable onions in, and I mean peels and everything. Cut it up really good, but throw the peels and everything in there to give flavor to the, the corned beef. Found out that really I was using too much onion when I only had one and I put it in there. I said, well, I'll make it, I'll survive. And I put that in there and it worked terrific like that way. Looks okay to me. Yeah, it's going to be going to be nice. See the beard coming in, by the way? Gonna get the old man the pity thing going for a while. Look at him. He's 85 years old and he can cook. He's cute. That's, <laughs> that's the look I'm going for. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, get me a cougar. <laughs> oh, this one's cute. He cooks. Oh, look at him. He's cute. Okay, the big lady cut onions today. Everybody seems to get on the bandwagon with that. If you're cutting the big chunks, cut the top and the bottom off. Okay, I guess you guys can see that already. Then go ahead, just cut it in half. Just find your two end pieces, peel them off like that and like here. Then just cut them into whatever size chunk you want to cut them into. Um, you want to cooperate. No, there we go. Come on. Got it. So, just going to cut them in big pieces, not cubes. Just kind of wedges. That works. Yeah. Not using anywhere near what I would have used, say, a year ago. Even a year ago. But corn pizza was a fun thing to make. So, I'm planting a bed on the bottom of stuff here on the tray. So, the onions kind of sitting up there and I'm gonna get rid of those peels in a second I got three bay leaves sitting here extra beside what's gonna be inside there my wife says hello dear my sweetheart I got my watch on I can say hi to my, my lovely wife but I got the three uh, here uh, so now why not one onion really does it yes I I put in three I put in two I find that that one's more than fair enough. It works out really well. So I'm putting all the dry stuff in, if you notice first, okay? So now, again, I got a quarter bottle of, uh, or eh, maybe even a quarter bottle. I was hoping a third. But you see a lot of allspice. See if I can just give you an up-in-the-air shot here. Uh, what all goes in there? I don't know. I don't want to spill it all over the place. I know I'm going to. But that's uh, juniper berries. There's bay leaves in there, coriander seeds. Okay, I'm going to actually use them all, of course. Any one I got. I looked in the two cabinets where it probably was, if we do have any more. Unless Tracy has it downstairs, which is a very good possibility. And I don't, I don't do the downstairs, go find the stuff. She's got her own food storage concept uh, God bless my wife I love her so much so uh, anyway I got I got that in it's plugged in it's ready to go I'm gonna go just ahead here and I am gonna put the two beefs in now I was gonna cut them in four but I'm looking at them and I really think standing them up nicely just like that beautiful Just like that. Beautiful. If I could actually find something to put in here. Exactly. I got an area about as big as my, my hand. Uh, to hold that open, that would be perfect. Perfect. Okay. Just going to pour the beer over. I can hear all the seeds sizzling down there a little bit as the beer hits them. Uh, let me wash my hands again. some off a little bit for right now so how is that how are we doing here yeah just one onion oh 48 people pop their head in thank you for doing that if you are out there still thank you for being here this long and if you have even your 10 minutes that's all i ask for 10 crappy minutes if you've been here that long for whatever reason then go ahead and follow me. Check me out in some other show, too. You might like me. You might say, this guy, he's kind of funny in his weird old man way. I'm not that old. 62 is the new 74 or something. I feel like it's terrible. 60, <laughs> it's not the new 22. I, I had this, this discussion in the... In, in, broadcast a while back about, oh, come on, 62 is the new 22. No. No, I, I was 22. It, it felt nothing like this. 
No, you are, you are doing the wrong math, mister. That's all I know. And there we go. It is Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Brenda. King, who gives a big wave. Thank you so much for the big wave. Merhaba, merhaba. 63. See, I draw in an audience of all types. All types. Nice to have a, a group somewhere right around my age, though. And it might be one of those things. <laughs> he's 62 and he's still alive. That, that's something. And there's a lot of women out there. I'm pretty good, 62. I buried my husband at 58. I mean, yeah. I didn't think he'd ever see 60. But this one here, I don't know. Something young about him. They don't, nobody sees my walker, do you? I can't. <laughs> like right down here. I'll be back in a minute. It's like that. I go off the screen. Ah, oh, 63. Yeah, it's, it's an awkward time in life. You can't call it middle age anymore. <laughs> no. I got to be honest. I don't want to live to 126. Whatever that, 124. I can't no. 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 Let me check out of some decent older age. I, I never. Oh, I'm getting close to how long my parents lived. Neither one of them saw past 66, I don't believe. So. You know, I'm, uh, I'm hoping to, I can't see why I won't outlive my parents. They were heavy smokers. I really got them big time. And uh, so I got that going for me. So we'll see how that, that part works out. It doesn't feel like, no, it doesn't feel like 22. No, yeah, 60, 62 or 63 is not the new 22. No. Maybe in dog years. I don't even think that. I didn't, not matter of fact, I'm sure not that. So we got we got the corned beef in there. I haven't turned on anything yet. Okay, I put a beer in there. Now we need liquid, right? We needed a cup of liquid minimum to to make steam. And it just goes around and it does this, and and water draws out of there, and it has more water as it goes along. You know, the less you put in, the better. We're also adding to this. Uh, I better find them. I better find them. I don't want those sissy peppercorns. Did you even think about it? I got the red, green, and white, or whatever color that's supposed to be. Uh, peppercorn? No. No, never. Never happened. Use some peppercorns. Alexis, don't put just two peppercorns in things. My God, woman. I'm going to fill that cap up at least. At the very least. Just whole black, whole black peppercorns. I mean, just, you got to, you got to do that. It's like laundry detergent. I mean, fill, fill that big boy up. Fill it up good. And get that stuff in there. Oh, my God. Oh, the flavor. What's the other big thing? What are we forgetting here? I'm not. What are you forgetting? That's the point. Okay. Garlic. We got to get garlic in this. We got to get garlic in there. Okay. And I think, I think that's about best shot I'm probably going to get for that. Garlic. Okay. I am going to have to put another light bulb on. I actually unscrewed a light bulb so it wouldn't be so uh, cartoon yellow. So that we had this big giant bag and it, and it was much taller. I've, I've cut a lot off the bag. It was probably that much taller. Three pound bag of garlic. That, that's all I've left now. In about three fingers. And I, I know somebody who will get that reference. And she's 63. That's, uh, oh my God. The new 22. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with a huge handful. That's going to be my snack, kind of. And that, that's about half of what was in that bag. I'm talking probably well, one less clove now. See, I got the camera. I don't like it up there. Uh, I got I got that many. There's probably 30 to 40 cloves there, and that's all going to go in. Oh, my God. Give to the angels. Just throw it in. Toss it in like that. Can you even see that over there? 
I don't want to go vertical all of a sudden in the middle of the picture. I don't want to do that. Okay, what I am going to do though, uh, I'm not going to go with additional time. I did go with heavy on the peppercorn. Okay. If you never saw a steam cooker work, pressure cooker work, they have several safeties in the lid. I can demonstrate in a minute. Several safeties in the lid. Oh, John. Uh, have your drawers in the wall stores. I don't know what's in that. Drawers in the wall stores. Oh, Jan. Hi, Jan. I, I'm, I'm reading backward. I'm sorry. Yeah, so let me pull this. Uh, Pull this apart because a lot of people don't don't get it. They're scared of what they're looking at. Okay, inside the lid of a pressure cooker. Okay, you have a safety valve. First, you have this little see this thing that's going in and out there. See that? Okay, that's a door lock. That's a safety lock that takes and holds your door shut when there's steam pressure. Okay, this other one is a filter. Goes to it goes to this filter. Uh, it's a filter, it's a first stage filter. Then it goes to this filter here, okay, which goes over top of that one, like that. And there's a little tiny rubber gasket that goes into here. Uh, was my phone binging? Come on, there we go. So there's one the safety valve, that big thing. That's what you're just looking at. That's here, and that little one that I said pops up. There it is, it's popping up. That's your two main safeties in there. I'm going to go ahead and seal this up. Make sure, double, double make sure. Let me see where, where is my, uh, where is my phone? There you, usually that's the one that, oh, come on, what, what is this? Uh, uh, go away, oh my God, go away. Oh, we got a particular ethnic community that's buying all the property of our county. And, and uh, the, uh, <laughs> we have another property, and I keep on getting messy, just, you know, hey, John, please, come on, John. John, John, John. I'm like, no, stop, leave me alone right now. So there is a rubber seal gasket that goes in here. You just got to make sure, and this is real, real important, make sure it sits down in place where where it's uh, supposed to down here. Okay, around there's a metal bar. Make sure it fits all the way down. The fill. Yeah, now it's seated, okay. So once it's seated, you can grab it and move it around. That's uh, literally like that. You can move that rubber seal around, okay. So I'm going to go. I'm not putting anything else in there for now. I'm going to close it. And instead of bringing you down here, I'm just going to tell you that I got the pressure uh, cook mode. And that's what we're going to leave it on. <clears throat> I'm going to go, I'm going to go 25 minutes. I am going to go 25 minutes and hit start. That's kind of it. I mean, it's going to take a while to get up to pressure. The meat's going to absorb a lot of heat. And that one beer is going to be plenty. Going to be plenty. They're, they're going to be steamed. You can literally finish these off in the oven if you want to spend an extra, I don't know, you know 10 minutes uh, with a very hot oven. If you want to brown the skin and have some crunchies and stuff like that on the corned beef, you can do that. Uh, this is perfectly fine. So they're going to be wrapped up at the end so that the steam doesn't get out. I was seeing so many people have a corned beef that was shredded. Shredded to nothing. And that's because they let all the steam out. I think this was so terrible. Yeah, 25 minutes. That's At that point, it's not done. It's not even close to done. Okay? At that point, I'm going to take them out of there. I'm going to rotate them around. And I'm going to go ahead and start adding... Uh, uh, I'm not sure what vegetables right now I want to add to that. Okay. Uh, I mean, I cook the potatoes and cabbage later when the corned beef is done. The corned beef is finished. Okay. Uh, then I go ahead and do, uh, in the instant pot, I do the potatoes and the uh, 
uh, the cabbage at the same time. They take about eight minutes, maybe something like that, and they're done. They don't stink of uh, uh, you know they well, I guess the cabbage. You know, you don't want the cabbage smelling up the corned beef more than anything. I'm trying to do the same thing right now. Wow, cool, cool. Yeah, that's uh, this is stage one. So it comes out, and then I make sure I'm going to baste it. I don't know if I'm going to add anything else to it. I might say it needs another beer. <laughs> then I get no beer. <laughs> Tracy, uh oh, uh, she did, she's still at work for another 25 minutes. I'm just going to say, hello, dear. I love you. Can you get me beer? That's pretty much what I'm going to say. Hit the messages. Okay, get, that phone is so high up there. Uh, where is she? Where is she? Where is my dear wife? Uh, there she is. Didn't have her name up there. Just had her, uh, her, 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 uh, her phone number, part of her phone number. Hello, dear. Cooking corned beef. Could you possibly stop and get some beer and replenish my porter by yingling, please? Apple Watch. This is not a cook show. I'm going to watch it very long. You ain't getting 10 minutes out of me. I understand. Trust me, I got to live with me. I know it's not easy. All I know is got to get rid of the onion smell as quick as you can. I just double them up in the food bag, throw them back in, especially if they're toward the top and they're going to go out. Man, I, I just can't take... Onions that get aerated and all of a sudden they can just really, woo, crazy, crazy, terrible smell. One time we ordered a, um, oh, what did we order? We ordered uh, an antipost salad. Tracy's like, didn't call it antipost either. It's, it's not antipasti. It's not it's antipost. It's the way we say it around here. I don't know if that's the Philadelphia thing that happens. I don't know what that is. Oh, hello, John from Summer Breeze. Hi, Summer Breeze. Just reminded me, I got to blow my text back up again. That's what the uh, the issue is. So I'm not wearing contacts. Yep, Tracy's typing. She's going to get me beer. Oh, Apple Watch, going to get me beer. Tracy's helping, of course. So... I got the corned beef in. I got the this this digital thing. Don't pay much attention to it. It's just got a little line telling me it's heating up inside. And when it gets hot enough, the beer is going to create steam. Steam is a crazy thing. Professional steam guy. Actually, 39 years of my life. 30, 32 of those years for the government. Uh, so uh, for the Air Force and for the Navy. Mostly for the Navy. But when it comes to uh, steam cooking, or when it comes to steam, the problem is that one cup of water, try to imagine this, one cup of water makes 1,600 cups of steam. That's how much power you have to generate steam. One cup of water, totally evaporated out, makes 1,600 cups of steam. 1,600 to one. If that was a popcorn kernel, it would be bigger than your house. I mean, that's that's how steam, it's, it's a volatile thing. And I did it for many years. So make sure all your safeties and stuff like that are always clean. I have all the faith in the world for these kind of things. They work totally fantastic. Um, I have one, one issue that, that bugs me. Uh, when people cook meals in any kind of a pressure cooker, Especially, matter of fact, mostly pasta, even rice. Even I get it with rice. I, I understand rice. Rice cookers, your all the water is always in there. And here we go. Oh, Brenda says, "Wow." Well, but I catch you. I caught you off guard and forgot where I was going with the, uh, with the, uh, oh, that, the. Um, uh, lost my train of thought. I did fill me in where I was at with 
I'm blind for some reason. I'm not seeing well out of these glasses. I'm looking straight up your ears. I gotta get more of a straight angle between us in order to see clearly. But the uh, they're they're all very safe. That's that's a biggie. And uh, try not to like this cabinet doesn't close all the way because something's on the turntable is hitting it right there. So I don't be careful not when you pull the safety off of uh, shooting the steam and stuff into your cabinets. It's not a cool thing. It's, it's, it's just, it just makes, it can make a mess. I think the worst, the most volatile thing inside there is uh, doing beans. It's got, I think, a National Weather Bureau statement. Uh, let's see what this is. Um, echo notification. How many stars would you rate it from one to five? Five. Thanks. Your rating will help other Alexa likes me. Choices. Not you, Alexa. I got Sorry, one. Just, I'm not sure. There's one only a foot away from where the, uh, where the camera is set up here. That there so I can play some music. If the music you're playing, a lot of people have trouble. Their, their music's super tinny and stuff. If you get the music source close to your phone and don't play it as loud... It sounds all the much better. Okay. If you have something further away, like over here, I got something, that echo show thing. If that goes off and uh, that's playing music and I got to play it loud because you're further away, it's going to sound distorted. It's got too much, too much air and stuff around, uh, hitting around the microphone and it distorts to something terrible. That's kind of what the, the sound issue tends to be. Almost a hundred of you have been in here. Awesome. Please follow, guys, if you would. It's really important. And, and the big one, I think, is always going to be, I'm going back with you. Uh, how do you finish the corned beef? Corned beef, when I finish it, it's going to be finished steamed. Uh, it's going to be finished in the in instant pot. Like I say, it's going to go back in for another turn. When this turn's over. Now, mind you, that countdown, that 25 minutes, has not started yet. It's got to build up the pressure inside. And it's got a little, that little lever in the back that I'm always fascinated with, if you follow me. That little thing that I told you is, is a door stop. It has to go up and lock in place. Then you can't open the door. If it drops down, you can open the door on the top of the lid. Uh, you know, real, real easy with it up. You can't, you can't move it. Uh, that tells you when you start to build enough pressure where it should build up fairly quick and, and actually start to count down timer. The question is, how hot is it in the uh, Instant Pot when you cook a chicken until it's done, 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 200 degrees, moistest chicken you'll ever have. Very good. I'm not, and that's not a joke. I mean, really, super moist, 200 degree chicken. You get that and throw that thing inside a plastic bag or something really, really quick and just let that thing come down to temperature. You know, don't. You could e easily let it do it right inside the uh, the instant pot itself, and just leave the chicken in there. Let it come down in natural release. Just just let the steam pressure go off of it, and that that way, all that moisture stayed inside. You didn't hit the steam release button, so that that makes it really really good. Three new messages! Yay! 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 Hi, Linda. Hi there, friend. Linda's in the room. Uh oh, what am I missing? Right but after you turn to read how much more time? Uh, another 20 to 25 minutes, maybe. Sometime around there. I'm scheduling it around for when Tracy gets home, so I'm, I'm buying time there. Uh, but when it all comes out, it all gets sealed. It all gets sealed together when it's all done, done. Okay. Um, I might put that second beer in there. When I open this back up, the second beer might go in. Get a feel for it when it's still going to be rubbery. No doubt about it. After just 20 minutes or 25 minutes worth of cook time, it's going to be rubbery. Uh, uh, what happened to Swift? Swift. Who on earth is Swift? Swift. Uh, oh, man, my heart's bad. I can't lift my arm up. John, you supply is like uh, little kids. This thing for. <laughs> It is a toy. It's the closest thing I have to a boiler. Come on, buttons. 
Christmas thing I have to obliterate anymore. That's for sure. Uh, it, you know, perhaps I, I, I still don't like your text. I, I can't scroll. Uh, I can't scroll to the uh, new messages. I don't know why. Now I'm looking at the ceiling. Now I'm back here again. I see messages piling up. There, whoop, now it goes. Now it goes. Junk food junkie in the house. D. Hiya, D. Kind of missed you last night, I guess it was. Uh, so you popped in at the same time where I popped in. I think it was Space Gal. I'm not sure if it was or not. I wasn't on too long last night. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. This is just embarrassing. It really is a kid's toy. Yeah, it, is. it is. It's a kid's toy to me. Uh, retirement's going well. Um, I keep saying, and I, I, I'm not going to do it and make it old or anything like that, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, sitting around all day waiting for Tracy to get home so we can watch TV for three hours and then she goes to bed is not the ideal retirement that I had, I had planned out. So it hasn't reached fruition yet, not even close. But it's nice to try to sleep a normal person's schedule. Not always the easiest thing to do. Still not there. You know, a lot of a lot of guys have issues with that. That the uh, it takes months to deprogram them from working a, a rotating swing shift like we had uh, back to a normal, you know, Arcadia rhythm thing at at, at nighttime sleeping. So, and I totally totally get it. We see these. So scroll up now. Uh, Haps, come on. You got a problem here with your, with your freaking text. I'm trying to make it go up and down. And it's bringing me up to another screen for private replying. There we go. Happy St. Patty's Day. You know, I forgot all about uh, saying that here. Oh, this, this. Where's the Haps boys? Fix this crap. I wish I could take a screen capture of it to show you what I'm going through. It's very tough in horizontal mode. You can hear the steam building up back here. Okay. The, uh, I can put the, I can spin this around. You can actually see that button. Him and that button. I hate that button. Hey, you watch that button. I'll be right back. Oh God, he got the flashlight. I know it's a ways away. Oh, you can't see that. Oh, don't tell me I gotta take the phone off the off the tripod. I'm not gonna do that. A little silver button's on its way, going up pretty soon here. I know if I had a less bright setting, that might be better. Right there, a little silver button. That's trying to go up now. It's just, it needs to get to about 12 pounds pressure before it'll uh, it'll seat. 10, 10 to 12 pounds pressure inside there, and then it'll seat. Then about five minutes later, then the cook starts, the cook time. Okay, So I can still take the lid off this if I wanted to. Because okay? that safety lock right there isn't, uh, isn't set yet. It doesn't take much. You could just give it a good little hit. And it'll pop up. It's it's right at the border, of popping up into place. But better to let it go up itself than to than to force it up. Then you know the safety feature is working right. Ah, oh, fifteen minutes. Oh, it's scrolling. Uh, oh, you, I got to take it down. It's driving me nuts. Driving me nuts right here. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, I can I can scroll in the uh, vertical here. I couldn't scroll in the in the horizontal and the uh, uh, landscape mode. Oh, it's still still waiting for that button to pop up. It will. Uh, not sure. So inside there, guys, we got two corned beefs, good size ones, both of them. And there we go. There's there's D and junk food junkie. I'm finally finally catching up here. Oh. You can hear the steam going in the background. I'm going to give that button a little whack. I am. Now it's free as can be. When it's ready to pop, it'll pop. Very close to popping. 
Oh, here we go. I knew he was going to flip it. He loves to flip that thing. Here's a little silver button. You can still open and close the door. Here it gets trying. Oh, uh oh, losing the focus. It's trying. There we go. See how hard it there it goes, and it's sealed. Oh, 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 oh. oh well, was that good for you? <laughs> it did. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Watching the safety go on a boiler, and it, it's just dear, near and dear to my heart. Uh, hard after all those years in in the, in the field. So let me get you back up here. Hang on. I don't want to make that a vertical show, but it looks like it's going to be. I think that's right. Looks like stuff is back like it was kind of. So it's going to take a few minutes for that to hit that fourteen or so pound pressure it's going for. There is a low. I think it's ten pound. Medium twelve. High 14 pound pressure that uh, you can cook with. It just it's just a, a burner plate at the very bottom, and you're just making you're turning it up from low to medium to high, and that comes in contact with the the the, the six quart pot that's inside the uh, instant pot, and that's what you're uh, that's what you're heating with it, whatever's in there. In this case, a bottle of beer. So there's a bottle of. Uh, I'm not one of those guys can just rip a beer cap off. I just don't. I know, I know they come off. I know. There we go. Oh my god, medic! Oh my god, yeah, Yingling! All right, there. Look at that, Yingling Porter. This is good stuff. This is a great beer. Cheers, guys. I don't know why. Uh, whenever Tracy gets home, I'm going to have a few more of these tonight, I think. Feels like a good night for uh, you know, for having a couple of beers. Uh, corned beef and beer? Come on. I got to do that. Hmm. It's nice. It's, it's, it, it's, it's skunky. A little bit skunky. Kind of like a Jersey tomato. You've never had a New Jersey tomato. There's something about this soil. I don't know what it is. But if you have good beer, that's that is a good beer right there. Have you been playing gin rummy? No, I haven't. Let me catch up here. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Oh, here we go again with this BS. Come on. Uh spring is coming, John, so you can actually plant a garden with tomatoes. You didn't you know what I have to uh by by time by time I grow anything. A month earlier, I could buy it at the farm market for far less than I could ever plant it for. And between the rabbits and the deer, uh, I'd have to build fencing. and it, it, it Just couldn't do it. It's just it, not a practical thing. I do want to go out and hang a few sections of uh, uh, gutter and use that for a hanging planter. Stuff that not, not necessarily deers go near. So there's few examples but uh we're growing uh, uh thyme and rosemary and a few other things right now uh matter of fact uh, uh i forget which ones these are but got to replant these in another container because they're really growing super fast uh somewhere right around there i guess something like that they're following the sun as the day goes on they follow the sun so i got to thin them out put it maybe uh Every 10 inches to a foot apart, let them grow, and uh, I can say I forget which, which herb they are. But I think it would be uh, be nice to have two or three of those rain gutters set out there, just on a couple of leaning two by you know, leaning uh, 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 one by four or something like that, grow soil, and just uh, make like a three-tier ladder, horizontal ladder uh, with, uh, with gutter, so that way rain can fall down all of them at the same time only problem I, I foresee on doing that which I'd love to do is that I there's a spot behind my my house up along the, up along my house uh, rarely unless the rain's pouring absolutely straight down or the sun's coming straight down at it which well the sun's always going down on it 
but the uh, but the rain doesn't hit it that much, so the grass ends up burning out pretty uh, pretty early in the season. Which I wish the whole yard would. I'm not big on the um, <laughs> the cutting the grass myself anymore. I, I don't know. I figured all that in. You know, I I just thought that that was. Uh, going to be part of my retirement package yeah it's terrible that the, the kids around here i gotta say they they're not ambitious offer them a, a job you know and they and they got a mower they got a, a good riding mower and they still don't want the job I'm like i'll do it myself forget it i'm, I'm not a, i know i got a beer but a grape soda um so i'll do it myself uh, definitely use the exercise. I'm not getting it by sitting in the house all day. I ought, I mean, I know that, but I'm doing pretty well what I do. Uh, okay, I didn't even hear it, but two minutes ago it beeped. I think I heard a beep now that I think about it. So two minutes ago, it started cooking for the 25 minutes. So there's 23 minutes left right now, so it's my job to entertain and amaze you. I got neither. I got nothing. I don't know why. You know, I'm here for a couple of minutes here. We'll come back and uh, when I switch this around, put it back on. Uh, everybody else does like 40 shows a day. I can do, I can do two or three uh, because it's it's got a little while to cook left. Like I say, when this is done, I can either finish it off in the oven. Really nice to put a nice brown finish at the end. Okay, if you let it cool just a little bit. Don't let those juices run all over the place. Uh, or just go with it like like it is with the steam. And I like to take and scrape almost all the fat off right then and there. And that's my core beef hash the next day right there. All that beautiful fat that, that comes off there. It doesn't get any better than that. So uh, core beef fat is the best. Then finally, you, know, you get down to little pieces of corned beef that don't look all that great. You know that's going in the hash too. So there's no waste. There's never any waste on the corned beef. That's why we make a second one, because I know it's a good, quick breakfast thing. Front throw it in a frying pan. We make. I make it with. Um, I, I actually like it best with canned potatoes. Usually, a five or six potatoes to a to an eight ounce can. Believe me, they're they're they're, they're pre cooked. They're wonderful to work with. They have a nice, distinctive brine to them because that's how they have to. Do them is in, in the salt water, but the brine is tasty. I don't use it, but I mean it, it doesn't harm the potato at all. It enhances the potato, and you can go ahead and and then you can cook up uh, cook, cook up really quick. They're already pre cooked. If you have leftover potatoes from a another another meal, uh, you know we tend to find we either be. We'll, we'll make just enough for French fries. We'll make about a double portion for mash because mash can always go with something else. And uh, I was sitting on two packs of asparagus right now. That man, I uh, I don't know if I dare. I we got cabbage. Tracy's really not a cabbage eater. Uh, I don't know why I think cabbage so much when I got you know, asparagus. I would love to have that with uh, with the corned beef. Which, 20 minutes from now, is uh, it's gonna it's gonna need uh, flipping around, and I'm just gonna flip it around. Check the level of the liquids in there. Okay, inside the instant pot. Okay, right now it's two corned beefs, two corned beefs, sizable, top round corned beefs, really nice. I think they were a dollar seventy nine on sale. I mean, that's, that's a good price. So, I like to do the two at the same, same time. In there, I put a whole onion. I didn't put the peels. I used to put the peels. used to use a lot more onion, too. And I found out it really doesn't take it where I want it to go. Okay? It doesn't quite go there. Now, if you want to go a little deeper in flavor corned beef, then what's going to probably come out of there, because, I mean, there's tons of peppercorn. It's going to be spicy. Okay, it's going to be a spicy uh, taste to the beef. That that peppercorn just goes right inside the corned beef beautifully. Okay, uh, 
handful of garlic. Not a lot of it's going to infuse uh, at all with the corned beef, but they're going to be beautiful things to pick out of there and save them. I mean, you could literally save them and spread them on, on toast. This soft, beautiful garlic paste. That's what, that's what they are. It's all that's left of them is paste. You take them out and just spread that on, on toast. A little olive oil, some salt and pepper. I salt and pepper everything. I'm bad at that. I know that. <laughs> Leave me alone. You know, uh, three new messages. Let me slide up here again. Oh, this is way too hard, too high for my bed, my boo-boo arm. There we go. Doing the wrong, wrong thing again. There we go. There we go. Uh, but no, I have not been playing Jim Rummy. Oh, come on. Haps. Oh, good beer. Uh, John here is a tip. Right, which that that is a good tip. They uh, that holds up with the weather. I never thought that would uh, that would hold up with the weather. I like that tip though. Cool. You, if you said it, I'm sure it's right. Uh, I was thinking about trying something. I wanted to see if I could hear through the uh, through my earbuds. Okay, I don't want to play with it though, uh, and. Uh, even though this has got a microphone, you're still going to hear out of the out of the, the phone. Not one of my favorite things in the world. I I wish I could walk around and you hear me out of here like as if as if I were on the phone. Yeah, but it, it doesn't seem to work that way. Uh, my grandmother used to put some whole cloves into the corned beef uh, when she cooked it. It was delicious. Yeah, the uh, there are cloves in the. Um, I don't know if I mentioned cloves, but I'm not sure those cloves. Uh, do, 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 do. Clove, yeah. Now, I smell them for sure. Man, I wish I liked. Uh, I'm gonna probably sneeze my head off. Hmm, it really, it does smell really good. Um, I can smell. Uh, just get a whiff of the ginger. I I eat ginger like you, you can't imagine. Uh, and we. I buy the jars of pickled ginger. Great for digestion. It's incredible. You get heartburn, GERD, any of that stuff going. Little the, the ginger you get at the um, uh, Japanese place. That ginger. Buy a jar of that. And just pop that down. Now, some of them, like the one I have right now, is, is like candy. Is that to eat the whole jar. It's, it's so good. Um, some are very, very spicy warm. Uh, this dried ones, dried candy. I've made them on Periscope before. Uh, ginger, ginger candy. Um, it's not that long-winded of a pro process. Uh, it takes up a lot of space, that's for sure. But to actually you know, use ginger, cut it and boil it down several times, four different batches of, of water to tenderize it enough, and finally sugar coat it and let it sit out and rest and stuff like that. It becomes this beautiful thing. Oh, it's so good. How long we got now? Only 15 minutes. See how time flies by. Uh, <laughs> really playing music just to make uh, 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 Facebook have to uh, send me a notice. We've blocked some of your music. It's not yours, you know. I know you're going to do it. It's a bot. It's just take. It's a matter of time. There's nobody out there saying, "Oh, let's go check out John Cooks." And it is John Cooks on Facebook. Okay. Wish you guys would go ahead and uh, join up there and uh, let you come in and check out the thousands of pictures of food over the years and all the videos we've done. You mean uh, like the ginger you used to uh, for for sushi? Exactly. Yeah, that stuff there is great for uh, digestion and you buy bottles of that oh let me see let me see let me see oh where are you you uh, good question where are you i think it's rotated too too far back for me to get oh but it's a tall jar. I prefer the white ginger. 
uh, by that, uh, it's just, you know, white sushi ginger. I mean, I think that's literally what it says on a bottle I was just looking for and couldn't find that bottle. But the uh, stuff is delicious. Really good. Now, the stuff that's crystallized, you've, you've seen that before, I think. Uh, there's ginger. You see pineapple uh, uh, chunks that are, are whole pineapple loops that are have uh, that are all dipped in sugar, and they're just they're either dehydrated or they've they've uh, well, pretty much dehydrated most of the time. But they can also be boiled softer and then applied with the sugar too, and they're really good, very good. Um, huh. <laughs> I may wait in ten more minutes, twelve more minutes. 13. No, no wait in 13 minutes. Guys will be back. There'll be pictures of this up here on uh, Facebook. Okay, I may not be back for the changing of the steam. I'm going to do that. Okay, I could probably, you know, for the sheer fact that I just want to put uh, more beer in there at this point. Okay, it's the only reason I would even pull the lid. I could just add more time to it. And I think it's probably going to be uh, going to be fine. But I like to flip them. Uh, I usually use more liquid, and part of the corned beef is underwater, even though it's extremely turbulent. There is actually a water level and a steam level in there. Uh, I think we're back to our organized or French entry. Uh, tell you, sometimes you all these all this stupid text. I guess you're the last post. I, I swear I'll... <laughs> oh, I'm going to punch the phone. I can't look. I can't look at the text. I try to scroll up in this horizontal mode, and it brings up this window that I want to reply to, uh, I think, to uh, Junk Food Junkie. I'm going to try to move up from there, and it's clicking on you instead. So 12 minutes. I'm thinking uh, 5 is 35, 40. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jack this up. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this out. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back here. Bring that up to 40 minutes. Hit start. Okay. That shouldn't take too long for the beep to happen. Okay, in about 40 minutes, that'll uh, that'll be done. I can pull that out. That should be fine. I shouldn't have to do anything else with that. Then I'm just going to go ahead and put some some veggies, some carrots, uh, and some uh, potatoes. And uh, I would like to put asparagus, but that's not going to happen. So there's probably a head of cabbage in there that I'll fit into the steamer as well. And do that for four, maybe five minutes tops, okay, with an instant release. And uh, then that's ready. By then you've... If you want, you've had your corned beef in the oven for a few minutes already. So that's ready to come out. You get a nice crystal finish to that kind of a thing. Uh, come on, John. You could uh, do a song and dance routine for us for, for 13 minutes. It feels like it. I'll tell you, it gets old standing here, whether you're staring at the ceiling like me. You know, I mean, I got the two spots. I got here that faces the sink where I usually broadcast from over there. Usually up in that window is where I usually have uh, the, uh, the camera set up at. And I like this one because I'm over here. It, it just makes it a little bit easier. So I, I like to do that. Uh, so that's set at 40. It's, it's actually, it is counting down. Set it at 40 minutes. It's 39 now. So it lost no steam pressure. Okay, because the only thing I did was for a few seconds, I turned the burner plate off. Why I reset it for 45 minutes. Hit the start button. <coughs> Excuse me. Hit the start button, and it just continued under pressure. So the only thing that changed was the time. If I had released it, swapped them around, which I'm going to see how that works out. I think it's not going to be an issue. I think the whole thing's going to be equally done. Both of them are equally done. Like I say, I thought about, and I usually flip them halfway through. Take this one here. It's like that. That one's like this. Flip them over. But I usually cook them with quite a bit more liquid, too. So some of it's underwater, rest of it's steam cooked. I want this to be all steam cooked. So the, the tray is in there that gives you about three quarters of an inch at best. Uh, then there's 
garlic in there and some other stuff that's in there with it. So let me come back. I'm going to, either way, you're going to find, I feel like Batman or something. <laughs> Why is everything sideways? Um, I will have pictures, okay, at uh, just John Cooks. You'll find me at Facebook. There'll be pictures. And hopefully be back to, to wrap the uh, cook show up. I don't like to start a cook show once Tracy gets home. If I'm still cooking, I want to cook and get done so we can have dinner. So a lot depends on her. If she's home in 40 minutes, I won't be back. If she's not home in 40 minutes and I can knock it off in 10, <clears throat> then I'll be back with you guys. Either way, please check the Facebook John Cooks right there. Join up if you would. Love to see you guys come in and post some uh, uh, some pictures and comments and things like that. I get a lot of thumbs up. I don't get a lot of comments. I don't like to hear from people. Yeah. You put time and effort in these shows. Uh, good to catch you live indeed, John. I need to get something done today. Good luck with the corned beef. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be back. Only because I know when Tracy gets home, she's really you know, stopping anywhere. So I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to promise the second show. But John Cooks, see a picture of me with a chef hat on. You can't miss it uh, on uh, Facebook. You'll see pictures of this when it's done uh, a bit later. I'll post them definitely tonight. That's a new thing I've been doing, and it's working out pretty good. Junk food junkie, thank you. See you soon. Oh, I can hit the end button and not. Uh,